Ooh, I'm beating you, I'm beating you. Get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right. Once again, I have won. <laughs> All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Carrie and Pierre YouTube channel. Uh, right. This is a safe space. A gay safe space. Gay safe space, you know, for we're here for, you're going to be doing reviews, we're going to do we're gonna talk about pop culture. We're gonna talk about you know serious gay topics. Our story. We're gonna interview. We'll be interviewed, as well as we'll have an opportunity to interview other couples and our friends, and you know just find out more about who they are and their story that they're comfortable sharing. All right. So look out for all of that, guys. Yes. So to kick this video off, we are gonna do Ask K and P. Right, a brief segment where we just respond to questions that you guys ask us. Yes. And we go from there. Right? And and another thing about K N P, it's not it's not necessarily questions y'all want to know about us, but just questions, scenarios, anything. It could be uh you and a coworker. You know, you don't know how to talk to this one person, your manager getting on your nerves. You know, it can be any kind of scenario. It's full disclosure. We do not mention names. So feel free. Again, this is a safe space. Safe, safe, safe. <laughs> the gay table talk. Well, we on the couch today. So, you know, right. <laughs> the gay co couch talk. <laughs> so uh, you can kick off the question. All right. All right, so this question we got as a response to the video we posted last week, and it said, so I have a friend who I expect that's bi or gay, I guess, suspect they're bi or gay. All the signs are there, literally. However, I think he is embarrassed or ashamed to admit it. When he's drunk, however, he hints around and says that he's playing. How do I ask him or should I continue to wait it out and not assume who he is? <laughs> All right. Right. <laughs> well, you want me to go first or you want <laughs> Me personally, I think you should leave that man alone. Like, everybody's journey is different. Everybody's story is different. So, you know, it really is based on what he's comfortable sharing. And if he's not comfortable sharing that with you, then, you know, he may see it as you prying or you just taking it where he doesn't want it to go. And that actually could damage your friendship or eliminate it altogether, right? Well, me, on the other <laughs> hand, I'm a firm believer in it's not how you say, it's not what you say, it's how, how you, you say it. it. So I feel like if you're coming from a loving and respectful place and, you know, make sure you're right by that boundary where you're not crossing, you know, overstepping. Right. But when he, I feel like if he does bring this stuff up when he's lit, you know, that's the time you, that's the time you can be like, well, Just know how you, know, do it. you know what? I, I love you regardless. I don't give a fuck what you like or what you don't like. But, you know, from what you telling me, hey, I'm just wondering you know, are you, you know, bi or are you not? If you are not comfortable with answering that question, I, out of sight, out of mind, I right. completely understand. But you know, I just, if you are, I would love, you know, to know. <laughs> but why? <laughs> you know, because that's a side of that person they don't know. Okay. So, and as a loved one, you would like to know all sides of that person. So I, I get where, where the, uh, where sh she or he, it's coming. <laughs> right? So, okay, great. So, <laughs> obviously, we had a different view on that. Um, right. I do agree with what it's he cool. says, obviously. But, right. you know, as far as I'm concerned, like, unless he's comfortable to the point of where he's, say, he could actually answer. Somebody come to you and say, hey, are you X, Y, and Z? And mm -hmm. you respond, yes then you're not there yet to want to have that conversation. Right. And I understand so, what he's saying too, right. because I've had people and family members ask me 
And the way they did it was so wrong that I just totally like almost it's blocked so them. Yeah. Blocked them out of my life for a it's time so period. So I can safely you know. say we both <laughs> had that journey. I'm, I'm sure you had that journey as well, mm -hmm. where you're you're still finding yourself. You're still trying to figure out who you are. You're still right. you in know. some in some degree you really do feel defective in some cases growing up as a gay black boy. Especially me, like growing up in the Caribbean as well. Being a gay black boy was not hip. It wasn't cool. It wasn't anything. And I knew I had these feelings. I didn't know what it was, but I knew I had it. Right. So imagine at that stage and me trying to figure that out. Somebody just bam. What are you? It's almost like they already made the decision for me without me even having a chance to fully understand who well, I, am I am and what I'm about. What I'm into. So. Yeah, <laughs> which actually is a prelude to our next little segment. Right. <laughs> I like to call it the U.S. versus Trinidad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> since I am from Michigan, born and raised Grand Rapids, Michigan, Bay is from Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> oh, that's that big. <laughs> <laughs> You're only learning. Slowly. Rah, 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 rah. We got all the right. kingdom. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. We love the song. Okay, all right. But yeah, hey, we I mean, play that. We we will. That, that, uh, <laughs> that went hard. That, it did go hard. It that did. Alicia Keys and who? What's his name? What's his name? We got the kingdom, so we got the baby Sham. That was baby Sham. Yep. I really that was baby the... Sham. What she say? Right, crack a smile, but ain't nothing funny. Hey. hey. <laughs> Bars. She was spitting bars. Y'all, hey, go stream that song. Right. Alicia Keys is is good with me. Right. <laughs> yeah, but we, we really wanted to do this segment because in a lot of ways there was a culture merger when we got together. And, uh, you know, like, he just was amazed, I guess, because he had never met a Trinidadian before. He knew nothing about the country, the culture, none of that. And in a lot of cases, I had not met somebody with his background and his story either, right? In the sense of, yes, we liked what we liked, but, you know, initially there was just like, wow, this is a man, right? <laughs> there was so much, like, aggression. and so, I mean, it was just different. It was just very, very different from, I guess... <laughs> from I guess somebody I dealt with in the past so you know and it was the same for him like when I introduced him to Soka he was like oh my god what are they saying like what <laughs> <laughs> but I was like I could deal with it I was like I was like okay I'm this is a learning experience I'm broadening my music spectrum and that's exactly what I did and I have a I have a deeper appreciation for Caribbean music than I ever had before. Yeah. I mean, you know, Jamaica <laughs> that's always been lit in the US, like we but you know, I feel like far as culturally the US and Trinidad, like we just now really starting to get hip to it. I you mean, know, far as like you, mainstream. You far as mainstream? You okay. um the thing is Caribbean people don't like the code like that. You'll find a few of them, but we would not move to Michigan unless we absolutely have to. <laughs> so I understand why he had not heard about it or met whatever. And then a lot of his experience has been the black American experience. So you want to talk about music, talk about the 60s music, the 70s music, the 80s and 90s. This is a guy. He's fully versed on all of it. But all of it was really just a lot of American culture and music. So now he's getting the chance to really go further as to, you know, what are the cultures there, where I'm from, my culture specifically. He gets a chance to enjoy the food and enjoy the music and enjoy even like parties. Case on point, the very first time I took him to a Caribbean party, <laughs> Me telling me experience. Listen, y'all, the first time I went to a Caribbean party. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm, I'm obviously over-exaggerating, but it was a lot. I mean, I feel like they played all 
Caribbean music. Like, I need at least one. Can I get a geeked up in there one time or, you know, some boosie in there, just one? Can you slide in, you know, or some current, you know, that <laughs> we, we know? I mean, but that night, let's it was a soca party now. But that soca. night they did it, and it it was a vibe. It was it was a vibe though. But I just was like, damn. I think they doing like two two American songs. But I was just like, damn. I'm used to it, it being the other way around. Like we gonna play all American music, and then we gonna slide and in. They play Sean Paul. That's what they play. No, Sean they Paul. they do play some, uh, some good, <laughs> you know, and don't do Sean Paul like he. I mean, we love Sean Paul, like but he didn't put on. When they like, talk <laughs> about American DJs playing Caribbean music, a lot of it is the old dance. Well, home. down here they play a so, lot of right. Don't, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Now Miami is a different place from, yeah. let's say, being in Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. So there's way more of a culture merge here and cultural yeah, experiences definitely. you could have. Yeah that you will not find up not like but that. i will say like i said i've been on jamaican music and that's a vibe it's just like trinidadian music is a lot faster and me personally i'm not really a fast music person so even with american music if i'm dancing i don't want to dance to a fast song like it's too it's too much like i want to i need me a nice slow beat and it's gonna be a vibe <laughs> yo, when, but, he, when he comes to carnival, I don't know what he about to do. I don't know, <laughs> y'all. I mean, shit, they party all damn day. Like, I'm like, no, I need to go back to the room. I need to take a nap. I want to relax. Damn, that's it's a little too much. <laughs> but he, he he's getting the picture. Right, like, he, he's getting to understand. Like, we're not new to this. We true to this. Right. So when you go out to party, you really party. Right, but one of the points I was making earlier is compare his experience the first time <laughs> to now. Like just last weekend, we went out to, and there was a lot of Caribbean music. That's the video I posted on our Instagram. If you don't follow us, it's at Kerry and Pierre. Pierre. Um, but now he understands a lot more of the music. Now he's heard it so much over the years, because I literally. I mean, listen in the background. It's Caribbean music. Mm, so. Don't listen. We don't have no <laughs> copyright in front. issues with YouTube. Chat. <laughs> no, 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 no. But just to say that now he knows a lot more of it, he's able to identify it and actually enjoy it. So the experiences he's having now going out to party with me is completely different from when we started. And him just really just not quite getting it. But now that we've talked about that, let's right. talk about me putting him on our music here. And culture. Or at least and in culture. culture. Yeah. Because I had to school him on the black excellence okay. that America has within its states. <laughs> you did. You know, you and did. taking him back because I'm really, really, really into older music. Like, even from like the 70s, the 80s, all the way up to the 90s and to current. And I had to show him. I mean, he knew about the goats. He knows. He, he knows about the Whitney's, the Mariah's. But I think that's about. And Michael, I think that's about as far as it goes. Uh uh, don't play me. What? Are you playing me? Oh, like I didn't know nothing. <laughs> I told you. I specifically told him, right? I done show him so, mo so many movies. I done put him on these artists. Right. Sort of, he ain't know okay. nothing about Janet. I had to show him who Janet, who no, Janet I knew was. Janet. I just didn't know Janet to the extent. He, he didn't know he Janet. Janet. He the thing Janet as I, The thing is, as I told him, right, what generally would happen is that because we had our own culture and our own music and our own everything, a lot of what we got from America would have been the major shit, the major artists, the major hits, the major songs. Because we had our own shit to enjoy as well. So we obviously listened to everything from Latin music to African music to, you know, American to Caribbean, Jamaican. We listened to a lot of shit. And when you go to a party in Trinidad, you hear it all. Even pop white shit, you hear that shit, right? So we really do listen to all of it. So I knew a lot of the major hits, but some of the other artists who are just like local artists and stuff, I, I didn't know them. Not local. <laughs> local to America. They were big in America. Like a lot of the music people me are from Detroit, from Michigan. Like 
Sada Baby and, and all those other people. Hey. And I'm not actually listening to a lot of those songs. Those songs are now all from my playlist. Music, Just yo. like he added Caribbean music to his playlist. So it was a great influence we had on each other. Just kind of getting each other to enjoy the things that we also enjoy. Exactly, exactly. And like when it comes to like movies, for example, like I've never watched more movies in my entire life. That's what I do. Like. Yo. <laughs> we really watch a lot. Of, I've watched so much movies. Don't talk about the pandemic. We are going through like maybe four or five movies a day, right? Because he really loves movies and he watched so much of them that he yes. really did put me on a lot of the Remember classics I'd never seen before. Yes. I love the black Casino. American historical movies. But I even put them on the other stuff too. So Cause y'all know Casino. Good. I was putting them on Goodfellas, Casino. Dope. He yeah, know. Dope shit. You know? And I mean, I, I enjoyed it all. It's been an amazing journey just re really being able to share things that he enjoys. Right? I'm still working on skating, but. Whew. <laughs> oh, you know, because I could cut a rug on that skating ring floor. You know how I'm right? Like, no, no, no. That's me on the floor, y'all. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we going tonight, actually. So we hey. are going to skate today. So hey. <laughs> that's his happy time. Like I don't like going because a lot of times he leaves me. He loves it so much that I'm just dead. Listen, we need to go on a I'm... Tuesday afternoon if you want to do some stuff like that to learn. If we going on Saturday. I'm about. I'm cutting the rug. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm over here, I'm doing that, I'm flipping, I'm turning. Hell yeah, I'm ah. like this, and every time I turn around, I'm fucking skating backwards in a two-step and twirling at the same time, and I'm over here like trying to keep my balance and stay off the floor. But, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we will be doing tonight. But other than that, I mean, that is pretty much some of the bases that I feel like that was the first things that we noticed when it comes to US, US versus Trinidad. <laughs> so we just wanted to share a few of those and let y'all, you know, just get a little bit more insight on our relationship. On how we make it work, right? right. We really just make it work <laughs> by being open with each other, being really honest about a lot of shit, well, everything really. <laughs> Not a lot it's of shit like this on the pod. Everything. Right. Everything. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and we really just kind of just expanded our mind to like learn new things, learn new information, and just really grow personally and together. Right. And, you know, just really help each other understand and just appreciate shit that we love. Right. So I think so far we've been doing a great job and I really am just looking forward to where else we're going on this journey. Right. Elevate. Right. Elevate. <laughs> it's been wow. <laughs> but on that note, y'all, like I said, um, that's about that's all we got for you today. Um, what we will be talking about um, next week, Sunday, you will receive a post of our First times with a girl and first time with a guy. Mm. So yes, we God. get we get See, in we about to give you. I'm about to give y'all <laughs> some good ones. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button hit right on the right on the bottom and subscribe. I want you to like, I want you to share, I want you to comment, leave an experience, leave a question. Don't forget to send your questions. Yes. It will be a Answering questions again. Yes, every as we move on next week video. Ask KMP. And at some KMP. stage we will do a total Q and A, so we'll cover more or less everything as right. we go. So guys, as usual, love y'all. Peace. See y'all later. <laughs>